Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. In this series, we are talking about our Google Maps add-on and today's video is all about Google Maps general settings. So to access the settings page for Google Maps general settings, first we need to go to our Event Manager, then we can access the settings page from here. From here, we need to switch to the Google Maps general settings tab. We have total seven configurable options over here that we can tweak or modify. I will explain each settings, what it does and what effect it brings to the website in details. So first we have our Google API language. In the description over here, if we read this, this says this feature controls the language of the autocomplete result and Google Maps. Enter the language code of the language you would like to use. List of available language can be found here. If we open this link in a new tab, we will see all the available registered languages in the world and their respective ISO code. So for English, the ISO code would be EN, for French, it would be FR. In this page, you can use Ctrl F to find in page to find your language and copy the respective ISO code for your language. So for English, we can copy this EN and come back to the settings page paste it over here and then we need to save changes to make this language as the Google API language. So the default language for the autocomplete result or the Google map will be this language we defined here. Then we have Google API default region. This field over here expects two digit ISO code for any country. So then it will set that country as the default region for the Google maps. We can find all the ISO codes for all the countries in the world in this link. If we open this in a new tab, we will see list of all the countries in the world and their respective ISO codes and their country code as well. Make sure you copy the two digit ISO code, not the three digit one, neither this country code. So we can even search for a country from here. Let me type my country name and if we open this page, we will see we have the country calling code at first block but we don't need that we need this two digit ISO code so that's IN for my country so that's India for United States it will be US or for United Kingdom it will be UK for France it will be FR so keeping that aside I can copy this ISO code and paste it over here to make that my default region so next we have Google address autocomplete for backend submission form. What that means, I'll show you in a moment. Let's open the event submission page at the backend in a new tab. In here we see the default event submission page. So at the event location section over here. So if we type in a bit of text here, we will see five items for autocomplete suggestion. We can click over here and that will paste the address suggested in here at our input field. So that's controlled via these settings over here. We can toggle this on or off to enable or disable autocomplete suggestion on this location field. Then we have the same principle, Google address autocomplete, but for the front-end submission form. For that, we need to go to our front-end side. Let's open that in a new tab. Let's go to event dashboard. Let's click on add event. So in here you will find the event location field as well. So if we type in a bit of text over here as well, you will see the auto suggestions pops up automatically. So this field over here, this auto suggestion can be toggled on or off using this checkbox over here. Then we have autocomplete country restriction. So in here it takes the two digit ISO code for a country. In that country, this auto suggestion for this section and this section will be disabled. Then we have our location marker. By default, it uses Google's default red dot or red marker as we know it as a map marker or map placement. But you can design your own map marker and upload it to the website and paste the URL for the PNG file over here and save changes. Our add-on will use that custom designed PNG file as a map marker. Then we have our map style JSON. So we can generate various type of style using map styling with Google so that we can open from here. Let's open that in a new tab as well. So this is style wizard. We do not need the cloud-based map styling. We can go to the whole style wizard. In here, we will be able to select from six different styles. So that's standard, silver, retro, dark, night, origin. Then we have some sliders over here. That's roads, landmark, and levels. So that lets us play with the density. We can play with this slider over here or we can also customize all the parameters over here as well. So I kind of like this dark mode for the map. So when we're done, 
editing these parameters or modifying them we can click on finish to generate a json file that we can copy and paste it over here so i'm not pasting it as of now let me show you how the default map looks so let's open the event listing page in here we see the generic default google map styling so that's the default one and now if we paste the dark styling over here and save changes then we have to reload this page we will see the dark theme taking effect into the map so that's pretty cool and that's how you can define styling for the google maps on your website so being that said we are pretty much done over here that's all the settings on the general section you can tweak for google maps Join us next time for the explanation of Google Maps search form settings, Google Maps single page settings as well. So I'm Sharad signing off. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.